Kelly and Kaz Moon here, and we are officially on our way to Bisbee, Arizona, Side Pony Express Festival. Um, last night we played a show in Austin with our friend Laura Satonia Pavonia. Yeah, let me tell you. <laughs> what a good ass band. She's so good. Y'all gotta go check out her band. It is just, it's kick ass, man. It was Apples Orange. Last time we played with her, she did a solo acoustic thing. Yeah. This was a whole different show. Yeah. Like, man. It they, was so badass. They're going up. I, I'm, you know, I hope that they really get on the South by schedule. Oh my so, gosh, yeah. In the spring. Well, I mean, like, and they're just like, what were you saying about the, the guitar tuning, man? And like how they, they, yeah. they're really coming up with their own sound. The way Laura and Josh work together, it's like they're pulling the old Brewer and Shipley, you know, like tune up, he tuned down getting all those extra notes man and they're really developing a sound that's kind of super unique yeah you know there was there was some cording in there that was just i was trying to figure out what the heck they were doing but it sounded fucking great you no know, their bass player and their drummer oh dude holy crap man just fight rhythm section man it was really cool to just like to go see i feel like honestly we, i i we played a set but i went to go see a concert that was high quality rock and roll yeah so yeah, we went to Austin yesterday. We took a freaking nine-hour drive from Homa, Huma, Huma. Home. See now, now I'm getting it all mixed up. You say Homa is the right way to say it, but now you got you got me saying Huma. Well, because Tony told me that you know he's listening to the Watt from Pedro podcast, and Mike Watt calls it Huma. Huma. Dude, the Intracoastal Club is just one of my favorite places on earth. Fucking Tony and Whitney, man, they're in my heart. I Man, well, and like Tony's got a great band too, Crush Diamond. Um, but it's just like what they're doing with that venue is so freaking cool. It's like there's art everywhere. It's this big giant space. Everyone is just so cool, man. It is just one of the most authentic places. You know, it's a bar. People. It's a bar that cares more about the music than the liquor sales. Yeah. yeah oh, I mean, absolutely. That's, that's the gist I get. And the like, time people are having. Yeah, you know, like, like Tony, Tony and Whitney are in it because they fucking love music. Yeah, I think it was just doing it. I'm experiencing, um, my hair went from, from Bayou Curls to now it's like, desert it's de yeah, desert, I'm getting the desert fluff going. And yeah, we're, we're having a very enjoyable 13 hour drive from Austin to Bisbee. Um, we have off tonight, which is good because we, we definitely could use, uh, last night there was nowhere to stay. So we stayed in Walmart parking lot and tonight, um, it was a little chilly sleep in the Walmart parking lot. Yeah, it had was a, a chilly sleep. It, had a 911 piss emergency, you know. You know, some, okay, look, here's the thing is sometimes in this lifestyle, you're sleeping in a shitty hotel eating Long John Silver's, and then the next day, you're getting hooked up by your friend who's making you a beautiful meal. Shout out John Strunk. That was, I'm still dreaming oh, about dude. that pizza, the biscuits. Those freaking biscuits, John Strunk. Biscuits and gravy. You don't need no gravy on those biscuits. Make me feel crazy when I can't finish <laughs> up my plate. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I was a big man. Wish I was a big man. <laughs> so I can clear my plate so the chef don't think that I'm full of hate. Anyways, I wrote that song. Uh, why it's still being worked out? It's called John Strunk. No, well, it's called Biscuits and Gravy, but they don't biscuits don't need no gravy when John Strunk makes them. So now, let's talk about that fucking curry that Magnus made for us. I didn't even see that video. We were no, so you know freaking what? tired. Man, that's that's what when <laughs> got you're, when so you're, when you're on the road and you get so effing tired, <laughs> and then all of a sudden. A dear friend makes you like this delicious home cooked meal that you. It makes eat. you want to. It makes me want to cry thinking about it. It doesn't matter, you know. You're eating it out of a hotel room cup. Yeah. But you know, you feel like you're at the at the top of the world, man. So Magnus and John, thank you for the two best meals that we have had. I think on any tour. Yeah. yeah. Mostly because they were both made with love and by the hands of our friends, which is cool. That's the stuff that really, uh, that really sticks with you, man, is, is that, man. When, so, when Magnus, I made you this, it's like, oh my God, dude. <laughs> she runs First you made car. me art, you took pictures of me, and now you made me curry? We're standing in the parking lot at the Intercoastal Club, and she comes running up to us with two Tupperware containers. Man, it's we like, needed it, because that was, 
that was a late like I was getting goofy silly I'm, I, I'm at that point of goofy silliness because I didn't fall asleep till like 5 a.m. yesterday morning then we wake up at 8 to drive to get to our show in Austin so I'm like two hours of sleep belly full of curry and now um, I slept I slept decently in Walmart but I think I was just so exhausted that um, I had to well, I appreciate I appreciate all of our all of our friends and family. Freaking Howard and Aaron and coming out. They drove from they drove from Houston to come see us in Austin last yeah. night. It was so good. Yo, it was nice to finally meet Aaron. Yeah, well, know. and Howard has a band, and I'm. It was they were smirking, murking for a minute, but they're going back to me and take back Pluto, I like and take I'm back psyched Pluto. about that. And you know what? We're gonna be opening for Take Back Pluto on our next tour out to, to Texas, and Howard's gonna check out some venues in Houston. Yeah. It's going to be a super fucking honor to come out and just hang out with them again and do some shows. Yeah. The best thing I really got to say about the Coral Snake was the food truck in the back, man. Uh, so we actually did shoot a little bit of a review video for that, but we were just in the hustle and bustle of hanging that out with man, friends. That man knows his chorizo. You know, in the queso, man. And so real quick, I'm going to cut the video off and we'll show you. Uh, this is what we did last night. Yeah, the only thing that I, I can equate this chorizo to is Juan's beef jerky. It's that good. Man, and the the onions are, no, the onions and mushrooms and the zucchini are all, all flavored just like to perfection. You don't have to salt them. You don't, I mean, like they provided some extra avocado? sauces. Yeah, there's avocado in here. The queso. The queso. I never had queso as good as this. It was I, I can't because even, he put I the cilantro it. and the tomato and and all the vegetables on top, just like and it's it can't, it it's it like, flavored like, the actual cheese. You like know, I know that Dave and Mitzi would appreciate this queso. They would love this con queso. <laughs> <laughs> it's effing delicious. No, but it has flavors from the vegetables but the vegetables that he's using in the back are so fresh and you really recognize this stuff when you're on the road and like like i said i love i love our bucky's burritos Some people but that cilantro. is fresh as fuck Some like people. i'm not i can't even not say the word like it is so uh, we're about to catch our friend play man i'm really excited to go see laura but we had to stop and just like tell y'all she looks great the haircut the haircut looks great her songs are her sounding songs great are sounding good. I think it's about to go. Y'all, go check it out. these amazing tacos so you can come to Austin and you can come to the Coral Snake you can go in there see an awesome rock show and then you can get over here and yeah so I got Caswan the Campuchano, Campuchino Campuchano and then I got the east side and the south side and this meal was incredibly affordable and from this beautiful truck um, right in the back of this beautiful venue man it is a chilly night here in Austin, but you know what? We brought the Ar Arctic freeze from the North Catskills, and uh, you know, it's just a really beautiful night with the right people. Cold Wednesday night here, but man, where else can you warm up other than here?
and I'm so I'm still digesting it, man. It was so dang good. This tour is an, a, a this is an experiment, and can we go across country, play a few gigs for a festival, and then jaunt back? Which so far we are almost at Bisbee. We are about uh we got about twelve and a half. Well, that's a lie because I put um. We're, we're avoiding highways right now. Just for a little bit. We just wanted to see some more back roads and enjoy the morning. You see where we live, you know? Yeah, dude. This is a, this is America. This is the heart, man. This is Texas. So, um, you know, it reminds me of Kathy, man. Kathy Gary. She, I believe that she's yeah. actually from Texas originally. Yeah, so. Kathy and I are both Texas natives. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Um, so, yeah. We are on our way to Bisbee. Our first show there will be Friday. We are going back to the quarry. I can't wait to see Dana. Uh, I think bus, Buskers are going to do some sound for us. Uh, can't wait to see Trez. Can't wait to see what's up and see what adventures and shenanigans we get into Bisbee this time. It's going to be some shenanigans. Oh man, the shenanigans are going to be off the chain. Um, I can't wait to have that mac and cheese. Oh man, uh, the caramelized onions on the top. Man. They don't cook this mac and cheese, they craft it. Let's talk about Doug for a second. All right, Doug. Your face disappeared off your little Facebook picture, and I want to know why. But I, it hasn't because I enjoy seeing your face on the Facebook. Yeah, we like seeing your face. So put that mug back up there, man. And this one's for you, Doug. This is a uh, I. We we woke up in a Walmart parking lot this morning, and I went in there, and I thought of you first thing in the morning. So I got this bowl house. You like the mocha cappuccino one, right? Not the one with the protein, I think. Um, I like this one more too. It's a little less. I can. Well, you know, it's I'm important. It's now. important to know the the, uh, the proper the proper beverage for the for the respect. You know. Doug, thank you once again. This tour is made possible by the Pine Bush Farmers Market. Yes, it is. For we sure. wouldn't be here without Doug, man. We would not be in the middle of Texas right now had it not been for the Pine Bush Farmers Market. To Doug, man. To Doug. It was snowing back home. And it's chill. It's a chilly. It's a chilly 57 it's degrees a, it's a out right now. 57 here, in Texas. Well, we're about to come up on our time for this video. Um, just want to stop in and say hi. Uh, and thank you, Doug. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Whitney. Thank you, Howard. Thank, thank you, you, Laura. Oh my God. Yeah, man. Um, just we have the best friends, and I want you all to know that my cable toe is long. If you all never ever need anything, don't hesitate to reach out to Faith Kelly and I if there's something we can do to help you. Yeah. Seriously. And I also like doing this stuff. It's um, you get really grateful for those moments. Like, okay, yeah, when you're when you're shivering, shivering your ass off, having to pee at two in the morning in a Walmart parking lot, and because all the hotels are like two hundred bucks around, um, you get really grateful for the nights where you do get a bed. And yeah, like Chilewa will come through in a pinch. Yeah, man, and all of a sudden it's you like have somewhere oh, to sleep. Nice, thank you, Chilewa. It you is right to stay on East Ranch Road twenty one sixty nine. I wish I got to a picture of that horse. Um, it just really makes you uh, grateful for for when you have a, a little Continue bit of luxury, the luxuries of life that you can have. Um, what little luxuries there are on the road, you really don't take them for granted. When you get like them. a toilet, dude. Yeah, man. A bit of advice. Oh, look at that. Look at that Whoa, bird. Look at that. What is that? Whoa. It's a Whoa. pterodactyl. Yeah, it's a ter there's pterodactyls. There's pterodactyls in Texas. Texas. That's what they call the Texas pterodactyl. Look at Claude. He knows. Look at those cliffs. Claude See, I'm glad we're not on I-10 right now because we'd be missing these freaking cliffs. Claude feels at home. Wow. Look at him smiling. <laughs> Anyways, guys. So Faith Kelly and I believe that Brontosaurus evolved into deer. Yeah. So that's why that explains. That's one of my beliefs. It's a theory. It's a... Look at those two, man. How can you not think that... Um, I don't know. I just... I got questions. Uh, just letting you know, we do got a long journey ahead of us. Uh, we do have the support the journey page. It's on the Faith Kelly website. It's basically just it gives you information about this tour, um, what we're doing, how we play to anyone, anywhere. And um, if you want, you can throw down, buy us coffee, a food, a room, whatever. Yeah. And it's just a PayPal and a Venmo thing. It's nothing crazy. If not, just go to go to open mic tonight at the Dale. Yeah. It's Thursday. Tune into a live stream once in a while just to make sure that we're still alive and, and not lost in the desert. And check up on your local musicians. Go see stuff. Go go make music. Go do your thing. Yeah, go see Richard Travis on Thursday at the Dale and go hang out with Shane on Monday at the Catskill Brewery. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this view. We love y'all so much. Thank you again. Wow. That's so Texas.